For those that are new, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications to be notified whenever a brand new video is posted onto this channel. Thank you all so much for your continued support. Now let's begin. Ladies and gentlemen, 20th Century Fox has now revealed the worldwide trailer to Deadpool 2. As right now on this video, we are going to further analyze, break down, and dissect the events of this trailer to further find out what's going to happen in the upcoming Deadpool movie. As right now, without wasting any more time, let us go on ahead and dive right into the trailer and further breaking it down as we get to see the 20th Century Fox logo. Now, what I really enjoy in the beginning is we see the same taxi man from the first movie having to make a return obviously for comedic purposes and what I really enjoy here is how all the way out in the distance we get to see how Deadpool is essentially being chased by either a mob of people or we see a crew of some sorts chasing him down and I really enjoy how Deadpool keeps his comedic relief in emphasizing more or less in trying to get in the behind the taxi cab and trying to tell the guy listen start the fucking car and I love how he just bursts right through the uh, the window shield here but if you guys look in the background there seems to be a mob of people chasing him down assumingly just a regular mob of people nobody really of, of significant importance per se and as we dive further into the trailer I really enjoy how we're gonna get to see the chemistry between these two as we did in the previous film and I really feel as if this character can resonate with so many and being naive and not knowing the ins and outs of what Deadpool is getting himself into but as we transition forward in the trailer we get to see how Deadpool is pretty much hanging off the uh, the taxi which I'm really stoked for and it's really unfortunate how in the upcoming Avengers film, Deadpool is not going to be in it, so hopefully, fingers crossed that one day, we are going to see Deadpool involved with the Avengers, because can, can you imagine if we actually had some sort of an involvement with, you know, Deadpool and Iron Man, Deadpool and Hulk, Deadpool and Spider-Man per se, but nonetheless, as we fast forward here in the trailer, we get to see how Deadpool is more or less talking to this man, and I really love their chemistry. Their chemistry, to me, really resonated in the first film, and this film, I think, is going to be a bit more gruesome than how we we saw previously in the first installment because as you guys can see here Deadpool completely decapitates somebody which I really enjoy the gruesomeness of this film and they're not taking it back to PG-13 they're literally going to show you like all the blood guts and gore in this film and what I really do enjoy as well is seeing how Deadpool is keeping to his traditional name and kicking ass and taking names but if you guys pay close attention and you look closely it looks like Deadpool is wearing heels which I think Deadpool is the only character that can pull this off in the Marvel Cinematic universe and being this comedical in terms of wearing heels and pulling it off in such a way to where he's wearing high heels but still kicking ass and taking names so I keep forgetting the name of this character the taxi man in this movie uh, but I really am happy that they're bringing him back uh, as he is going to be Deadpool's companion here so as we fast forward here in the trailer I really enjoy how once he encounters Vanessa which was the escort from the previous film I love how he begins to talk about how he was out there trying to save the world from gluten which is traditional to Deadpool's character because he's one of those characters that really wouldn't really hide the truth from you but he would more or less sway your opinion in making you believe something else as he was quote-unquote trying to save the world from gluten so I'm not entirely sure how big of a role uh, she's going to have in this movie in terms of being you know more or less a plot device for Deadpool's character which I don't think she's going to be heavily involved at all in terms of being you know a part of the main plot however I really am happy to see Vanessa back once more in interacting with Deadpool. Now, this is where things begin to get very, very interesting. Now, of course, we see the Marvel logo here, and we get to see a little explosion happen, uh, sort of like right next to this corridor here, and here comes Josh Brolin's cable. Now, to my knowledge, they're using the exact same cable that we saw in the comics. Even though he looks a tad bit older than how he was in the comics, I'm not entirely sure how people will feel about that. However, for those of you who don't know about Cable's origin, uh, Cable's origins are very different in each, you know, comic adaptation that he's featured in. More or less, he comes from the future, and he is the son of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor, who is a clone of Jean Grey. Now, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to reveal Cable's origins in this film in 
pretty much revealing to Deadpool that he is in fact the son of Cyclops, but it'll be most interesting if that happened. And of course, for those of you out there who don't know uh, more or less about Josh, Josh is actually going to be the main figurehead of the Avengers Infinity War movie as he is going to play Thanos. Very interesting how he plays Thanos and Cable at the exact same time. So Josh Brolin is really the one winning here. So we get to see Cable and he's on the move and there is somewhat of a plot going on here in the fact that Cable Cable is essentially looking for this kid. Now, this is the kid that assumingly Cable was after. Now, I want you guys to look at what's around his neck. Now, to me, that looks like a binding collar. Uh, and I do believe that this kid isn't just an ordinary kid. I do believe that this kid does possess out of this world powers and superhuman like strength that perhaps maybe can tie in with the mutants. And that's why I think at least Cable is after him, as we get to see in a few shots after this. But this is the kid that Cable is after. After. And I really enjoy how at first Deadpool doesn't seem like he knows what Cable is talking about until they go blow for blow and we see how Deadpool tries to swing at Cable and Cable just kicks his ass here. And I really enjoy, you know, the detail for Wade's character and the way he looks and Cable pretty much putting, you know, Deadpool down with one shot. So from the studio that brought you 27 dresses and the Devil Wears Prada. And here we get to see how I do believe that Deadpool is questioning as to what he's going to do going up against such a foe like Cable and we get to see here reminiscence of you know Wade when he was younger per se before the accident and I want you guys to pay attention to this now we get to see three streaks on the street with all the cops surrounding the area and if you guys look at the kids hands this is where I mentioned earlier that, that, that perhaps maybe this kid has some sort of an ability or perhaps a power that Cable is seeking. So very interesting how we get to see how this kid uh, ends up being the end result of this car flipping over and his hands are glowing and that's not really normal. So I want you guys to take note of that. And what I really enjoy prior to this is seeing how Cable's on the move and keeping traditional to his character, we get to see how nonetheless he's sliding down the building with his arms. And I really enjoy how this kid kind of takes up the same character traits as Deadpool. Now, I, I would really enjoy it if Deadpool ends up taking this kid as his own. Since, of course, Deadpool doesn't have any kids, it would be very interesting if that were to come about. But uh, nonetheless, we do have several characters confirmed in this movie, such as the return of Colossus. Domino's going to be in here. So most interesting is how everything is going to play out involving uh, even the blind woman from the first film that, of course, Deadpool took a liking to from the beginning. And I really enjoy how, oh, once again, we see a Megasonic team Teenage Warhead, she's in the movie as well, returning, and I really enjoy how she has the X-Men suit, in which, in which case we get to see how Deadpool more or less uh, gripping the ass of Colossus, and I really find that to be enjoyable in many weird ways, because as you guys can tell, he is inside of a building. Now, what building is he inside of? Well, we might get to see the reveal of that as we fast forward here in the trailer. Uh, what I really do enjoy here is how eventually we get to see... Uh, <laughs> Professor Xavier's wheelchair and of course we get to see Barack Obama on the wall a blinking there as well And I really enjoy how Deadpool is making fun of the X-Men here in which case uh, later on as we continue to fast forward throughout all of this uh, Deadpool ultimately mentions how he wants to create the X-Force and how it's very ironic that he does so but we see how uh, Nonetheless, we see how uh, some of the members of the X-Force as Deadpool calls them are in action here now I'm not entirely sure if they're gonna showcase any other uh, X-Men characters, uh, which is going to be most interesting because I really want to see if any other, uh, any of the other X-Men characters, such as Cyclops, or perhaps willingly Wolverine's going to be in it, which I, I know is not going to be the case, but here's when we get to see uh, Deadpool making a calling to the X-Men and calling everybody the X-Force, which I just mentioned, and uh, everyone's pretty much calling out the irony and how there are the X-Men and he's creating the X-Force. So basically, the plot of the film is going to be uh, Deadpool's assembled team coming out after Cable and putting an end to him. So I really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the soundtrack and as it says, prepare. And Deadpool keeping traditional to his word, kicking ass and it looks like these dudes are partially naked. It, perhaps maybe this is going to be uh, taking place in some remote part in the world. Maybe Japan because these dudes look like they're from Japanese, Chinese origins per se. They're not, they're definitely not Americans or Europeans. So that's one thing I do want to point out here. They're all using uh, katanas and samurai swords and whatnot. So most interesting there how they're popping out of the water and trying to battle against uh, Deadpool for the second coming prepare for the second coming as it says and uh, again we see most notably how the film is gonna be just chock filled with comedy and as you guys can see here Deadpool is wielding a brick 
and that's a pretty big brick. Now, as he just punches the guy in the face, a massive spew of blood just comes flying out of this gentleman's mouth. So this film is gonna be brutal in one of many ways. Now, also, if you look at what's around Deadpool's neck, he also seems to have the same binding collar as the kid that we saw previously, which I'm very fascinated to know what the hell happens if in fact he ends up getting trapped or something happens to him where Cable puts the collar on Deadpool. So most notably there, we get to see the collar around his neck and it's the exact same collar that we saw from the kid. Now again, more notably enough, we get to see how uh, Deadpool just arises from a uh, coffin at, you know, assumingly someone's funeral, and then he just starts letting off shots. So Cable, uh, with his big ass gun, keeping traditional to who he is in the comics, I'm wondering if they're gonna keep him alive or if they're gonna kill him off in this movie. Hopefully enough, they keep him around, but here, all of a sudden, we see how Deadpool just gets ran over by one of the uh, one of the trucks here and then over here snapping his head back in place, which I cannot wait to see the action portion of this film because the first film did contain lots of awesome action. And again, I'm really happy that, uh, you know, that Mega here actually has the traditional X-Men suit, which I which I find to be really enjoyable, especially going back to the uh, to the cartoon shows. Now, Cable in all his glory, having to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against Deadpool. Deadpool wearing an X-Men shirt once again, or that looks like an X-Men uh, cut-off jersey, per se. Traditional Deadpool, nonetheless. As we make our way towards the end of the trailer, we see how Deadpool is just breaking glass, trying to attack people, gets shot in the hand, but yet still manages to, look at that pistol going right through his hand, manages to grab the pistol, turns it around, and ends up shooting the guy, right? Right back so I really really enjoy like, the, all the blood guts and gore I really do enjoy the comedy aspect of this film especially how Ryan Reynolds portrays Deadpool but also seeing how the movie is keeping traditional to all the blood guts and gore here as he's talking to his uh, his companion here the taxi driver from the first film and I really do enjoy how this film is going to be if anything DP2 uh, one of the best Marvel movies to date not entirely sure if it's gonna break if it's actually gonna break Black Panther when, when it comes down to uh, revenue and the box office but we can only assume that it is now i am hoping to see more x-men cameos as we see here talking to his friend uh, i'm hoping to see more x-men cameos from us uh, other characters as well as referenced in the first film may 18th is when this movie is going to be released but more interestingly is who do you guys think the kid is that cable is after i'm not entirely sure as to how much importance this kid has if he's just an ordinary person or if in fact he does have a huge connection to cable and deadpool and what do you over Overall thoughts on Deadpool having to protect this kid as Cable is coming after him. Of course, Vanessa isn't going to be the main plot of this film, which I'm really relieved to see because now it's going to be mano e mano. It's going to be uh, pretty much Cable versus Deadpool and Deadpool's little companions of the X Force. So, post your comments down below, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are stoked, ready, and excited for this film, go on ahead and slap a like down below. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, guys, for more informational videos such as this and, of course, trailer breakdowns. Tune back in for more, and I'll be seeing E each and every single one of you guys down in the comment section below. Have a great day, everybody. Peace.